This is the Music History Today podcast for October 8th. On today's show, Eddie Vedder meets Mookie Blaylock, and we hail rock and roll. First up, though, on this date in 1935, band leader Ozzie Nelson married the band's singer, Harriet Hilliard. They would go on to have a successful TV show called The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. And they also would have a son, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee and teen idol Rick Nelson. In 1957, Jerry Lee Lewis recorded his classic, Great Balls of Fire. In 1966, drummer Ginger Baker of Cream collapsed on stage after performing a 20-minute drum solo on the song Toad. In 1980, Bob Marley collapsed while jogging in Central Park. While recovering in the hospital, it was discovered that Bob's melanoma cancer had spread to his liver, lungs, and brain. He passed away in May of 1981. In 1985, Little Richard crashed a car in West Hollywood, California. The accident left him in such serious condition that he had two different surgeries. In 1990, Eddie Vedder met the other members of Pearl Jam, at the time known as Mookie Blaylock for the first time, then started work on what would become the album 10, along with recording his part for the Temple of the Dog song Hunger Strike. In 2004, Britney Spears ended her business relationship with her manager, Larry Rudolph. Larry had been Britney's manager since she was 13 years old. In 2010, musician Ben Harper and actress Laura Dern filed for divorce. In 2012, Green Day canceled their performance at the New Orleans Voodoo Music Festival as singer Billy Joe Armstrong sought treatment for substance abuse. In 2015, Selena Gomez publicly announced that she has lupus. In 2018, Taylor Swift got political for the first time and endorsed two Democratic candidates in her home state of Tennessee. One of those candidates won and the other one lost. And in 2019, Pitbull trademarked his famous yell. In classical music in 1892, the piece Prelude in C-sharp minor by Sergei Rachmaninoff premiered. In 1897, composer Gustav Mahler was named director of the Vienna Court Opera by Emperor Franz Joseph I. In 1928, Alfredo Casella's Violin Concerto premiered. In 1944, the Capricorn Concerto by Samuel Barber premiered. And in 2014, the Burgett Nilsson Million Dollar prize went to the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra. Bridget Nilsson, not affiliated with Bridget Nilsson, the actress. Just saying. In theater, in 1928, the Cole Porter musical Paris opened on Broadway. In 1951, the musical Music in the Air opened on Broadway. In 1959, the musical At the Drop of a Hat opened on Broadway. And in 1979, the musical Sugar Babies opened on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on October 8th, in 1979, Willie Nelson, Barbara Mandrell, and Kenny Rogers were among the big winners at the Country Music Association Awards. In 1984, Alabama was the big winner at the Country Music Association Awards. In 1987, Chuck Berry received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on the same exact day that his concert documentary movie, Hail, Hail, Rock and Roll, premiered in movie theaters. In 1990, George Strait was the big winner at the Country Music Association Awards. And in 1992, the United States Postal Service issued commemorative stamps, including ones for musicians Elvis Presley, Bill Haley, Buddy Holly, Otis Redding, Richie Valens, Clyde McFadder, and Dinah Washington. Albums that were released in the UK on October 8th include in 1971 when the Hollies released Distant Light and in 1974 the Moody Blues released This Is the Moody Blues. Meanwhile in America in 1965 Dusty Springfield released Everything's Coming Up Dusty. In 1971 The Move released Message from the Country. In 1971, same day, Hawkwind released In Search of Space. In 1972, Billy Preston released Music Is My Life. In 1975, Diana Ross released Mahogany, a classic R&B album. In 1980, The Talking Heads released Remain in Light and Prince released Dirty Mind. In 1981, Joy Division released Still and Mike Love released Looking Back with Love. 
1982, Madness released Madness Presents the Rise and Fall, and Diamond Head released Borrowed Time. In 1984, The Fall released The Wonderful and Frightening World of the Fall. In 1990, Simple Minds released Themes Volume 3, September 85 to June 87, and Ringo Starr released Ringo Starr and his All-Star Band Volume 2 Live from Montro, along with Van Morrison releasing Enlightenment. In 1991, Primal Scream released Screamadelica. Two Live Crew released Sports Weekend. The Pixies released Trump Le Monde. Soundgarden released their classic Bad Motorfinger. Eric Clapton released 24 Nights, and John Mellencamp released Whenever We Wanted. In 1992, Simple Minds released Glittering Prize 81-92. In 1993, Robert Earl Keane Jr. released A Bigger Piece of Sky. In 1996, the late great Karen Carpenter's Estate released her self-titled album. Chem Lab released East Side Militia. Jimmy Buffett released Christmas Island. And Chris Isaac released The Baja Sessions. In 1997, Colin James released National Steel. In 2001, Simple Minds released Neon Lights. In 2002, The Apples in Stereo released Velocity of Sound. Government Mule released The Deep End Volume 2. Slaughter released Then and Now Slaughter. Bon Jovi released Bounce. And Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released The Last DJ. Singles that were released in the UK on October 8th include in 1965 when the Gentries released Keep On Dancing, in 1971 Focus released Hocus Pocus, in 1980 Irene Cara released Out Here On My Own from the Fame soundtrack if memory serves, in 1982 Daryl Hall and John Oates released Man Eater and the Thompson Twins released Lies, both classic 80s songs. And in 1988, The Proclaimers released I'm Gonna Be 500 Miles in I'll, Never mind. Anyway, in America. In 1963, Sam Cooke released Little Red Rooster. In 1973, Loggins and Messina released My Music. In 1983, Yes released their classic Owner of a Lonely Heart. In 1996, Matchbox 20 released Long Day, and Marilyn Manson released their classic song, The Beautiful People, The Beautiful People. In 2002, Pearl Jam released I Am Mine, and Nirvana released You Know You're Right. In 2008, Beyonce did a twofer. She released If I Were a Boy and Single Ladies. And in 2012, Disclosure released Latch. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 8th include Grammy Award winner Bruno Mars, producer Teddy Riley, singer and actress Bella Thorne, rapper Famous Ocean, not to be confused with Frank Ocean, rapper G. Herbo, singer Angela Aguilar, Ethan Torchio of Maniskin, rapper Saucy Santana, Brian Tovar of S. Labon Armado, C.J. Ramon and Johnny Ramon, both of The Ramones, Cliff Adams and Robert Cool Bell, both of Cool in the Gang, Hamish Stewart and Michael Rose, both of The Average White Band, Ray Royer of Procol Harum, Tony Wilson of Hot Chocolate, Butch Rillera of Redbone, country music singer Susan Ray, Doc Green of The Drifters, Fred Cash of The Impressions, Ricky Lee Phelps of The Kentucky Headhunters, Blues Man Lonnie Pitchford, Chad Petrie of Shiny Toy Guns, producer Nick Cannon, rapper Lil Toozy, Gospel music singer, the legendary Miss Cece Winans, DJ Q-Ball of Bloodhound Gang, musician Peter Drake, guitarist Steve Payne,
Perry, not to be confused with Steve Perry of Journey. This Steve Perry is of the group The Cherry Poppin' Daddies. Guitarist George Bellamy, Dave Arbus of East of Eden, Sheila Ferguson of The Three Degrees, and James Johnstone of Pig Bag. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 8th include violinist Heinrich Ernst, who passed away in 1865 at the age of 51. Composer Charles Oberther passed away in 1895 at the age of 76. Composer Martin Pluteman passed away in 1897 at the age of 43. Composer Gus Kahn passed away in 1941 at the age of 54. Opera singer Kathleen Ferrer passed away in 1953 at the age of 41. Singer Solomon Linda passed away in 1962 at the age of 61. Jazz saxophonist for the Duke Ellington Orchestra from 1927 until his death in 1974. Harry Carney passed away in, of course, 1974 at the age of 64. Composer Alberto Hemsey passed away in 1975 at the age of 78. Violinist Tibor Surley passed away in 1978 at the age of 76. Singer Jimmy Cross passed away from heart issues in 1978 at the age of 39. Cellist Maurice Martineau passed away in 1980 at the age of 81. Composer Ernst Mayer passed away in 1988 at the age of 82. B.J. Wilson of Procol Harum passed away in 1990 at the age of 53. Singer Mank Nellis passed away in 1993 at the age of 73. Musician Christopher Keene passed away in 1995 at the age of 48. Musicologist Watkins Shaw passed away in 1996 at the age of 85. Composer Anatole Vieru passed away in 1998 at the age of 72. Gidget Kine of the group Marilyn Manson passed away from drug issues in 2008 at the age of 39. Gospel music singer Albertina Walker passed away in 2010 at the age of 81. Pianist Roger Williams passed away in 2011 at the age of 87. Pianist Antonio Alvarez passed away in 2011 at the age of 93. Mikey Welsh of the group Weezer passed away from drug issues in 2011 at the age of 40. Philip Chevron of the Pogues passed away from cancer in 2013 at the age of 56. Singer-songwriter Jim Diamond passed away in 2015 at the age of 64. Singer Elizabeth Ramsey passed away in 2015 at the age of 83. Drummer Grady Tate passed away in 2017 at the age of 85. Saxophonist Molly Duncan of the Average White Band passed away in 2019 at the age of 74. Singer Mohammed Shaharian passed away in 2020 at the age of 80. Drummer Everett Morton of the group The English Beat passed away in 2021 at the age of 71. And singer and keyboardist Stuki of the group Nas, not to be confused with the rapper Nas, passed away in 2023 at the age of 75. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 9th, when in 1940, the legendary, iconic Mr. John Lennon was born. <laughs> 